Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Tuesday morning. Uh, Zach had a bit of a late start today because he had um, a PT day. And so now Ivy's having a waffle. Milo's eating the rest of his waffle. And Penelope's not hungry so she's just on the couch. Um, but my hair is dark now. And I'm going to show you guys. I got some Wella toner from Influencer to try and I hated what it did to my hair like it made I have highlights like right by my temple and it like bleached those out and then it just lightened overall all my hair and I was like no I don't like it so I got this color from Madison Reed at Ulta because I had a gift card and um yeah I put it on last night and I like it I think Everything always takes some getting used to, but this is more closer to my natural color. Obviously, you can tell from my eyebrows. But um, I'll show you guys the Wella process. Because I liked it at first, and then it just like, I didn't. But yeah, this is going to be my final color for a while, because I dyed my hair like twice in the past two weeks. So I got a lot of hair, but I'm not going to attempt it, you know? But yeah, let's go. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, don't mind these spots on my face. They're not, well that one I think is a pimple. Um, but I was weed whacking yesterday and um, my like stuff kept blinging up at my face so it's like I've got little whelps from the weed whacker or from stuff from the weed whacker anyway. So I got sent a box from Influencer and it is the Wella Color Charm T11 toner. So I got sent that and a bottle of developer. So I'm actually gonna try to tone my hair. Hopefully it'll be enough. I feel like usually when I go to the salon, they tell me they have to use like two because I have so much hair. Um, but we'll see, it's looking kind of brassy anyway, so it's like it probably um, needs to be done. Actually, it's not looking terrible, but regardless, I gotta do this for the, um, for the review. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it today and see how it turns out. Hopefully, hopefully good. If not, my hairstylist is gonna be like, what did you do, Thea? <laughs> All right, so I'm brushed out to this huge lion's mane. So this is gonna be the before. I also changed into a, an old Irish dancing shirt from the Great British Championships in 2010. But I wanna give you guys a before. I feel like my lightest strips are here by my ears. And I think the one's framing my face. All right, so I think I'm gonna do a little um, strand test, probably like back here somewhere. Um, that way I make sure that I'm not like completely fudging this whole thing. Um, Cause I've never toned my hair at home before. So yeah, we'll see. Do a little strand test first. Let's find a blonder piece, I guess. Do this one. Okay, now it says to leave on for thirty minutes and then. leave for up to 30 minutes checking frequently for a desired result essentially though this is just supposed to tone down your hair and kind of eliminate the brassiness so all right so i bypassed the strand test and i just went ahead and put it all over so now i'm gonna wait 30 minutes and wash it out and i'm probably gonna use um a coconut mask from trader joe's um, and I'll show you guys afterwards. So 
Milo is eating this buckwheat waffle and licking a spoon with whipped cream on it. And Ivy's just having a blueberry waffle. Oh. <laughs> What'd you find, buddy? Yeah. Do you find some cool whip? Oh, the freezer says no. Okay, so we just ran to the library. We had a whole bunch of books that weren't overdue because it said that they had been renewed automatically. It's crazy. I haven't been to the library in so long, so I didn't even know they did that. Um, but anyway, we turned in those. We got some really cute new ones. And then my birthday present from my mom came late. I already unpackaged it and everything because I was so excited. But she got me some Harry Potter sheets. I'll show you guys when they are done washing but i'm gonna show you the books that penelope picked up hi buddy all right so we got vlad the rad peanut butter and jelly santa claus girls girls inside voice pig the tourist fly guy presents space a Halloween party from the Black Lagoon. Absolute expert dinosaurs and Ohana means family. This looks like one I would have loved when I was a kid when we were living in Hawaii. I love the art in it. Nice. Another birthday present my mom got me. For my birthday this year was silhouettes of all my kids from Disney. So we took pictures and we sent them in. So this one is Penelope. I'll show you the good ones first. That one's Ivy. So Penelope, Ivy. <laughs> this one's funny because this is Milo. And he's got these little like straggler hairs. And it makes it look like he has a mullet. <laughs> I don't know why they would include that, but that's in there now. Mullet will be forever documented. And he barely has one. Like, it's literally just straggler hair. It's like those right there. But they made that a mullet. And then we got the dogs. So this is Pepper, and they gave her a little toupee. And then this one's even funnier. Pepper! Pepper, do you have a toupee? Nope. <laughs> I put the up there. And then there's Messer. And he's got a full blown mohawk. And that's Messer over there. Does not have a Messer. Messer! Hey, no licking. But see, no mohawk. But anyway, yeah, now that we are home, I'm hungry again. So I'm gonna have. Guys! I have the rest of my premier protein that I started this morning, but I didn't get to finish. So it's the premier protein cafe latte. We got it from Sam's Club and it's got, where does it say? Caffeine equals one cup of coffee. So I used to just put a little bit of this as like a sub for creamer in my coffee, but now I've just been drinking this. So. So I was scrolling through here, um, seeing what all content I had and for, I mindlessly did this. Like I knew as I was doing it, what I was doing, but it's like, it didn't register. So I deleted a four minute video explaining why I hadn't vlogged in a while or why I hadn't recorded anything or really even posted anything on social media. And yeah, I just, I was like, Meh, delete. I don't even know why, but anyway. So, explanation, um, I just, I hadn't been vlogging or anything for a while because Messer got his teeth cleaned and he didn't do well, um, 
he's a very high anxiety dog so he was very anxious the entire time like from when I had to drop him off in the morning to when they put him under and then he woke up super anxious from the anesthesia um and so he ended up giving himself stress colitis which is just an inflammation of the colon um he just he wasn't feeling himself from Friday when I picked him up until Sunday so I called the vet and they told me what they thought was going on and they put him on antibiotics and a special gastro food and they told us like no walks no stressing him out in any way like his body just needs to rest so that's what I did I also added um because I had a vet on McDill Air Force Base and she was more of a holistic vet but she told me to incorporate like probiotics into Messer's routine when I told her he was having um like seizure like tics and so she recommended that so I figure if he's having gut issues it's probably best that and since they put him on an antibiotic I needed to reintroduce some probiotics so that's what I got him Kiefer and um so yeah that's everything that he's on and he's definitely feeling more like himself but I didn't want to vlog during that because it's very stressful for me whenever anything's wrong with my dogs um it's probably more stressful when something's wrong with the dogs for me than when something's wrong with the kids because at least the kids not babies but like Ivy's age and Penelope's age can tell me like I don't feel good my tummy hurts um and you know dogs can't so I you know I'm just sitting there going what's wrong like why how are you feeling this way but anyway yeah so he's much better so I'm feeling much better um I just put Ivy down for a nap and I put Milo down for a nap Milo still has two naps a day Ivy she doesn't really need naps every day uh only when she seems like super overwhelmed or um just very very cranky I'll put her down for a nap so since she was up around 2 a.m last night and then she woke up really early I went ahead and put her down for a nap today so she's gonna get a nap and then Milo yeah he's one and he still takes about two naps a day and honestly I feel like I need the naps more than he does but you can tell when he needs a nap too he gets super like uptight and he starts doing like angry grabbing and stuff so I'm like yeah it's nap time but yeah now I'm gonna go watch Camp Crustaceous with Penelope and um, edit a few pictures for Instagram which by edit I mean apply a preset and decide if I want to post it All right, so my sheets have finished washing and this is the print. It's got a little snowy owl, which I'm guessing is Hedwig, and then some stars and moons. And this is a king set for our king bed. It'll look a little funny probably with our um, duvet, but I think if we like flip it up, it might look nice. You know, don't show this part, but yeah. Super cute, super pretty. We're on our morning walk. That's her mommy. And look at all the little baby ducks. That's her mommy. No, that's a snake bird. Oh. Oh, there they go. They're swimming. They're swimming. What's that, that one? They went What's to mama. That one's swimming. <laughs> that, mo that one is mama. Pepper, that snake bird's going to attack you, Missy. Oh my gosh, and there was more babies. That that little lady duck had seven babies. And they were waiting like right there, all asleep underneath them. Oh, they were smaller than the other ones too. Baby duck. They were so, you missed all the baby ducks. No, I saw them looking. Yeah, did you see the little tiny ones right here? No. That one that's swimming right now had seven little ones sleeping underneath her. Daddy. Oh, 